I think it's absolutely crucial, and particularly I think in a country like Singapore, where you're trying to be, you know, promote um, your sporting athletes, and the fact that Peter has um, set this up uh, and invested heavily in this program for young people, and it, it's very much the Manchester United way of investing in young people and letting them, you know, flourish and perform and enjoy, and giving them the best facilities, education, discipline, coaching. And then you see, you know, you believe in young people, they can achieve great things. And I think in Singapore, because of the fact that maybe professional sport isn't the biggest, you know, thing over here in Singapore, it, it, you have to almost, if you like, encourage youngsters more to stay in sports. And I think this is something that um, is, is, is an incredibly great gesture, but also something that for, for Singapore as a country is well needed because you need to invest in your sports people to promote Singapore around the world and also to give young people in this country a goal to make it, them want to go into sports. So no, I think it's absolutely fantastic and I know that he believes in it passionately. He wants to improve the coaching level, he wants to give young people a chance and to give them the best facilities in coaching and the ability to obviously not be pressurised financially during that period to have to go and work so that they have to then not do their coaching, the training. So that, you know he wants to give them as much time as possible you know, on the training pitch or on the athletics field or in the swimming or you know, the bowl or whatever, whatever sport it is they're going to do, they need to be focused 100% on that and you know, I think it's a fantastic programme and one that we have in the UK, you know, we have scholarships in the UK, they have them in America, you know, in all countries, you know, to, to promote uh, people going into sport, particularly in the sports like ath athletics, cycling, swimming, where the money isn't fantastic in those sports in the UK. You know they get subsidised by the, the lottery uh, fund mm -hmm. in the UK by the government to, to make sure that we can still produce these fantastic cyclists. So the, the, the GB cycling team was the most I think it's the most successful it's ever been at the last Olympics. But that's because they've seen the fruits of eight years' work from the scholarships right the way through. And I know that this is a ten-year program um, that Peter's investing in, and ten years is definitely the right amount of time. It's a you know it's a huge commitment from Peter to do this for ten years, but. When you invest in young people at 10, 11, 12, you need 10 years to be able to see the actual uh, the graduation of them as sports people. So I think that you know it's, it's a long-term commitment as well, which is really important.